Hi, today we are going to do the simple equations lesson number 3. Today we will do some questions. Question number 1. 2x over 5 equal minus 10. Now we have to find the value of x. Take your solve. So then, how we are going to do this question? You can do the cross multiplication. Then what is this minus 10? Minus 10 means actually minus 10 over 1. So therefore, we can write 1 here. Now we can do the cross multiplication. 1 into 2x is 2x. Equal 5 times minus 10 is minus 50. Now we get 2x equal minus 50. Now we have to find the value of x. How we are going to find it? This side, problem is this 2. So we have to get rid of this 2. So to get rid of this 2, I divide this side by 2. Then if I divide this side by 2, other side also I must divide by 2. So therefore, minus 50 also I divide by 2. Now 2 and 2 cancel. Then here this side you have x equal minus 50 over 2 means minus 25. Okay. Right. Now we we'll do the second question. Second question is this. Solve. 11x minus 2 or 4 equal 5. Now how we are going to do this question? 5 means what? 5 means 5 over 1. We can write that. So then 1 and 11x minus 2 we have to multiply. And 4 and 5 we have to multiply. It is like cross multiplication. So therefore, first of all I can put bracket here like this. Then 1 into 11x minus 2. 1 and 11x minus 2 we have to multiply. Then 1 into 11x minus 2 equal 4 times 5. That is 20. It is called cross multiplication. 1 into 11x minus 2. Entire set we have to multiply. Now 1 times 11x is what? 11x. 1 into minus 2 is what? Minus 2 equal 20. Now we have to get rid of this minus 2. How to get rid of this minus 2? We have to add plus 2 this side. Then 11x minus 2 plus 2. Then if you add 2 this side, the equation, other side also you have to add 2 to keep the balance. So 20 plus 2. Now minus 2 and plus 2 will get cancelled. This side you get 11x. Here this side you get 20 plus 2 is 22. Now 11x equal 22. How to find x? So we have to get rid of this 11. For that we have to divide this side by 11. Then this side also we have to divide by 11 because the equation, if you do something one side, the same thing you have to do to the other side also. 11 and 11 cancel. This side you have x. 22 divided by 11 is what? 2. So x equal 2. Now we will do the another question. We will take 7. Now third question. 7a minus 3 over 4 equal 5. Now 5 means 1. You can write 5 means 5 over 1. Now we can do the cross multiplication. 1 and 7 a minus 3 we have to multiply. So we can put a bracket here. Keep a, put a bracket like this because if you have some other number here then you don't do any mistakes. So 1 and 7 a minus 3 you have to multiply. 1 into 7 a minus 3 equal 4 times 5 is 20. Now, 1 into 7 is 7 a, 1 into 3 is minus 3 equal 20. Now, to get rid of this minus 3, we have to add plus 3 this side. Then, 7 a minus 3 plus 3 equal 20 plus 3. If you add plus 3 this side, this side also have to add plus 3. Then, plus 3 and minus 3 will get cancelled. 7 a equal 20 plus 3 is 23. Now, we have to get rid of this 7. To that, we have to divide this by 7. Then this side also have to divide by 7. 7 and 7 cancel. Here we have 8. Here 23 divided by 7. That means 3. Here 7. Here 1. 2. 3, 2, 7. Okay. Now we did the third question. Now we do the fourth question. Fourth question is this. 5x minus 2 over 3 equal 8. Here we have to find the value of x. Then you solve. Then what? 8 means what? 8 over 1. Now we have to do the cross multiplication. That means 1 and 5x minus 2. We have to multiply. 
3 and 8 you have to multiply. Then we can put a bracket like this. Then 1 times 5x minus 2 equal 3 times 8 is what? 24. Now remove the brackets. 1 into 5x is 5x. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 equal 24. Now we have to get rid of this minus 2. So to cancel this minus 2, we have to add plus 2 this side. Then 5x minus 2 plus 2 equal 24 plus 2. Now plus 2 and minus 2 will get cancelled. This side we have 5x. This side 24 plus 2 is what? 26. Now what we have to do? We have to get rid of this 5. For that we have to divide this side by 5. Then this side also we have to divide by 5. 5 and 5 cancel, x equal 26 divided by 5, that means 5, 1 fifth. Okay, right. The fourth question we did. Now we'll do the sixth question. Sixth question, m minus 3 over 7 equal 11. Now how we are going to do this one? We have to do the cross multiplication. So 11 means 12, 11 means 11 over 1. Then m minus 3 you can bracket. Now 1 and m minus 3 you have to multiply. 1 times m minus 3 equal 7 times 11 is 77. Now remove the bracket. 1 into m, m 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 equal 77. To cancel this minus 3 we have to add plus 3 this side. Then m minus 3 plus 3. So this side also have to add another 3. 77 plus 3. So plus 3 and minus 3 will get cancelled. Here we have m. Here 77 plus 3 is what? 80. So m equal 80. Right. Now we do the next question. Seven question, little different question. 3 times x plus 1 equal 15. Here what we have to do? We have to remove the brackets. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3 equal 50. Now we have to get rid of this 3. So we have to subtract 3 from this side. Then 3x plus 3 minus 3. Then this side also you have to subtract 3. Then 15 minus 3. Plus 3 and minus 3 cancel here 3x. Equal 15 minus 3 is what? 2a. Now 3x equal 2a. So we have to get rid of this 3. Then we can find the value of x. So therefore we have to divide this side by 3. Then this side also we have to divide by 3. 3 and 3 cancel, x c equal 2 divided by 3 is what? 4. Okay, right. The seventh question. Now we do the eighth question. Eighth question is 4 times p plus 3 e equal 20. This is solved. That means find the value of p. Here we have to find the value of p. So we do, what we have to do is we have to remove the bracket. 4 times 3, 4 p. 4 times 3 is what? Plus 3 is what? 12. Equal 20. Now we have to get rid of this 12. To get rid of this 12, we have to subtract 12 from this side. Then 4p plus 12 minus 12. Then from other side also, we have to take it 12 out. Then we have to subtract 12. 20 minus 12. So plus 12 minus 12 cancel. So 4p equal 20 minus 12 is what? 8. Now 4p equal 8. Now, what you have to do is, this side we have to divide by 4. Then 4 you can cancel. Then this side also you have to divide by 4. 4 and 4 cancel. P equal 8 divided by 4 is what? 2. The value of P equal 2. Now we do the question number 9. Question number 9 is, 5 times 2x plus 1 equal 22. Now what? 5 times, now we have to remove the bracket. So 5 times 2x is what? 10x. 5 times 1 is 5 equal 22. Now we have to get rid of this 5. For that we have to subtract 5 from this side. 10x plus 5 minus 5. Then from 22 also we have to take it 5 out. 22 minus 5. Now plus 5 and minus 5 will get cancelled. This side we have 10x. Equal 22 minus 5 is what? 17. So now we have to find the value of x. So therefore we have to divide this side by 10. Then this side also divide by 10. 10 and 10 cancel x equal 17 divided by 10. 1, 7 over 10. Okay, right. The so question number 9. Now we we'll do the question number 10. 
Okay, question number 10 is 3 times 2y plus 1 equal say that uh, 25. Now what? 3 times 2y is what? 3 and 2y get multiplied 6y plus 3 equal 25. Now 3 had to cancel. To get rid of this 3, you have to remove or subtract 3 from this side. 6y plus 3 minus 3 equal 25 minus 3. Plus 3 and minus 3 cancel. Then 6y equal 22. Now we have to get rid of this 6. For that this side you have to get by 6. Then this side also you have to get by 6. 6 and 6 cancel. y equal 22 divided by 6. Now you can simplify this by 2. 2 means if you divide 22 by 2 is what? 11. Here if you divide 6 by 2 is 3. That means 11 over 3. That means what? 3 to 3. 10, right. The question number 10. Now we do the question number 11. Question number 11 is this. 8 times 2x minus 1 equal 10. Now what? We have to multiply 8 and 2x. Then 16x minus 8 equal 10. Now, we have to get rid of this minus 8. For that, we have to add plus 8 this side. Then 16x minus 8 plus 8. So, other side also we have to add another 8. 10 plus 8. Now what? So, minus 8 and plus 8 will get cancelled. This side you have 16x. Equal 10 plus 8 is what? 18. Now, our problem is this 16. So, therefore, this side we have divided by 16. So this side also have divided by 16. 16 and 16 cancel this side x. Now 18 and 16 both are even numbers so you can divide by 2. Then 9 here 16 divided by 2 is what? 8. So that means 9 over 8. That means what? 1, 1, 8. Okay, right. Now question number 2. That's the last question. 9 into 3x minus 4 equal 14. Now what? 9 times 3 you have to multiply. That means 27x. 9 times 4 is what? 36. It is minus because plus into minus is minus. Here 14. Now we have get rid of this 36. So therefore we have to add 36 this side. 27x minus 36 plus 36. So other side also you have to add another 36. Then 14 plus 36. Now minus 36 and plus 36 will get cancelled. Here you have 27x. So here 36 plus 14 is what? 50. Now the problem is this 27. So therefore you have to divide this side by 27. Then this side also divide by 27. 27 and 27 cancel x. x equal what? 1, 27. Here what? 23. 3, 1, 2, 3, 27. Right. So today my lesson is over. Thank you very much.